All right, welcome uh, design students to the first video tutorial on Adobe Illustrator. First of all, what we need to do is find Illustrator. So if you scroll down on your Mac screen, go to the bottom. This is what we call a dock. The dock is going to um, kind of pop up all the applications we have. And yours, might, yours obviously looks different than mine, but um, the application window looks like this, a little folder down here with an A on it. It says applications. Click on it once, and then you're going to go up to the AI folder. It's orange. Um, click on that again, and then find the application. Um, just click on it once and it should open up. You're not going to see this document that pops up. We're going to we're going to need to open this up through the crimsonart.net site, but we'll get to that in a second. Let me close that down. What you'll see is probably your desktop and you're going to see a toolbar over to the left. You're going to see options across the top and your palettes along the right. Illustrator is a vector program where we um, create artwork using kind of mathematical anchors and paths and we'll get to that in, a, in the next lesson. Um, this is just going to be an overview of how to start a um, document in Illustrator and how to get started. So Illustrator as we can see it's open we have some options along the top let's go to file we're going to start a new document and this is how you start a new document or you know in file you can save you can um, you can do a lot of things um, you can place images you can export out <clears throat> And we'll get to that later. But to start a new document, um, the size is, that's fine. We can do a letter size, eight and a half by 11 is fine for a workspace. Um, and that's the default. It's gonna set you up with that pretty much every time. You can choose the orientation if you'd like. Um, you can also give it a name. We'll give it a name when we save it. We won't do it right now. Um, so just click okay. And it'll just open up uh, kind of a blank page for you to, to draw on and for your artwork, okay? Um, and that's it. That's how you get started for a document. Now, in order to save a document, let's say I want to draw something on here where we'll get to this in a different lesson, but let's say I want to save this shape I just made. I'm going to go to File, Save As. And what Save As is going to do is going to give us some options, but it limits us. It's only going to, the format that we save in is going to be Adobe Illustrator or PDF is for the most part um, the only two that we're going to use for our purposes in this class. Um, here's the save as title. You're going to give your, uh, your, your, your assignment or your document a, a name. So what I want you to do as a student is put your last name first. Oops, sorry. Let's uh, click off of there. Last name first. My D is broken. My D doesn't work. Ugh, that's upsetting. Well, for now on, for right now, I'm going to be manners. Uh, cha, because my D doesn't work. Um, and then um, Adobe Illustrator is fine. Um, and then you'd click save. Uh, however, for our purposes, what I want you to show you is um, I want to go. I want you to go to export because you're going to export your documents into uh, the student save drive uh, here at Maple Grove and. Um, I just want to see what you've done real quick, so I want it to be a JPEG, so uh, there we go. And then we have some different formatting options, but this time I want you to just choose JPEG. What JPEG is, it's just an image file, and it's going to just um, change our, our vector art that we're creating into a rastered image, okay, which means it's going to have pixels, okay, for screen resolution, all right? And then um, what we're going to do is find the, uh, over on the left side here, you're going to find something that says um, Maple Grove Save because I have, um, I'm have i not on the network. Um, it'll look something like this, but it'll say Maple Grove Save. I want you to click on that and then find the uh, Maple Grove um, Save name. Let me just switch out, see if it's on my desktop. Yeah, right here, Maple Grove Save. If I click on this, I wonder what will happen. Um, it'll kind of pop it up off the OK. Connecting, there's a problem. Um, yep, it's not going to let me. So um, you guys will see it, but find the design folder in that in that folder and then find the proper, uh, it'll be all listed there for you, you won't miss it, and then just click the export button and it'll save in there for you, okay? I want you to do that for every lesson and for every assignment that you complete. All right, good luck everybody.